Hey everyone, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a full face of dupes. Probably one of my favorite videos like ever to film. It's just so much fun like finding products and matching them up and I just love it. If you don't know what a dupe is, basically a dupe is like a more affordable version of another product. So basically like two eyeshadow palettes that look the same. One's really, really expensive, one's way cheaper, but they both perform and look the same when worn. So we're going to be doing a full face of dupes. So one side of my face, I'm going to be using all drugstore affordable products. And then on the other side of my face, I'm going to be using high end luxury products. And hopefully by the end of the video, both sides of my face will look 100% exactly the same. These are all products that I have tried, I have tested, and in my opinion, they are exactly the same. But obviously one is a hell of a lot cheaper. I love dupes. I know that you guys love dupes. So if you are interested in sticking around, hanging out with me and playing with a bunch of makeup dupes and saving some money, then please stick around. I feel like I look like I'm from the Adams Family at the minute. Like I feel like I'm like really pale and my hair looks black and I'm like black clothing. Guys, it's all right. Oh, and also we've tried a new attempt and it's already failing. I pinched some of Brandon's hair product to try and get my baby hairs to sit down. Yeah, I don't think it's actually working for me. I need help. Anybody with like this issue, what do you guys do? Like, it just can't be tamed. All right, first up for primer. This is a dupe that you guys have been wanting to see for a very long time, basically side by side. I have spoken about this dupe before. Absolutely. You cannot tell the difference between these two products. The consistency is the same. The wear's the same. They're just, they're both amazing. So what I'm talking about here is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and then the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So basically these are both primers that help to minimize pores, they help to extend the wear of your makeup, they help foundations to blend better on top. They're just really, really awesome. So I'm gonna try and not get confused today too. High-end luxury this side, dupes this side, yep. So basically with these primers, you apply them to your fingers and sort of like warm them up and then gently smooth them into the skin. I think that they definitely minimize pores. Both of them exactly the same. The Tatcha one's quite expensive. I feel like it's about $60 here. And the e.l.f. one is obviously, I mean, maybe like $6 or something. Really affordable. And then we're going to go in with the e.l.f. on the other side. Honestly, if you put both of these in like standard generic packaging and you were like an Ikea, which is which, without smelling them, I can tell when I smell them, the e.l.f. one doesn't really have a scent and the Tatcha one is lightly sort of fragranced, but I would not know. I would seriously not know the difference between them. I've been using the e.l.f. one heaps lately. Like I'm really enjoying it. It doesn't break me out. Like it's just, it's a really, really good product. All right, next up for foundation, I've got the Dior Backstage Face and Body. You guys know that I love, 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 love this foundation. Really lightweight foundation that gives great coverage, lasts all day, you know, isn't affected by like oils, isn't affected by sweat. Like it's just a really, really nice long wearing foundation. Well, I've got this one here by Australis that literally, I cannot tell the difference between the two. This one's super lightweight, but it gives really, really great coverage. It's also infused with vitamin C, which is awesome. So it helps to like brighten the skin. It's good for your skin when you wear it. Also got SPF in it. It's vegan. It's just a really, really, really awesome foundation. They did recently relaunch this one. They've got a powder version of this. And Australis, if you don't know, it's an Australian brand. It's Australian drugstore brand. They just make incredible products, really, really good quality. They've got really, really great brand ethics behind them. Like. Just, I can't recommend them anymore. But they do have a powder version of this and apparently it's like the best selling powder at Priceline. I haven't actually tried it, so I don't know, but the foundation is lovely. All right, so I'm gonna start out by applying the Dior to this side. And like, honestly, you'll see once they're both on the skin and I can actually show you the formulation of both as well. Their formula is like, it's literally exactly the same. Obviously this being Dior, yeah, she pricey, she pricey. Not a lot of people, and I mean, I don't even want to fork the money out on that, but I mean, this, you guys know already, I've, I've loved and used this foundation for quite a while now. The thing that I love about it is it's so, like, it's just so lightweight on the skin, but it still gives that coverage. So, you know, you don't feel like you've got heavy makeup on. You don't feel like, you know, a keg face during the day. It's just really comfortable to wear. All right, so we're going to go in with the Australis Fresh and Flawless on this side now. The other thing about these two is it actually helps... You know how sometimes really long wearing foundations that can feel kind of drying on the skin? This one actually keeps you hydrated during the day, but even with my oily skin type, it doesn't get like super, super shiny. It doesn't cake up. It doesn't separate. And it's so affordable. So hopefully you can see the formula there. I've shown you guys the formula of the Dior one before, but like it's literally exactly the same. It does come in 30 shades too, which I mean, it's so sad, but in the Australian drugstores, that's pretty much unheard of like we just like normally we'll get a foundation range it's like seven shades and we're all like 
what? <laughs> so I love that it comes in so many shades. I'm actually working with Australis on a campaign for this foundation um, and some other products, which is so, so exciting. So thank you so much, Australis. And like, whenever I get a chance to actually test a product that's really, really great for oily skin and like spread the word, I'm like, <laughs> Yes. All right, so working this one into the skin, and actually now that I've got it side by side with the Dior one, I actually think the coverage of this one is even better. I did actually film like a full wear test with this foundation, like first impressions review kind of a thing. I might, might not, maybe, maybe will be before or after this video. Might be up already, I don't know. Um, if it's not, I'll try and get it up in a, like the next few days or something. But like, I was like a little shook. I was like, where's the drugstore girl? So you can see that my skin looks glowy on both sides. It's got really good coverage on both sides, but it just feels like I, I really can't tell that I've got foundation on. Like it just feels super, super lightweight. So yeah, Dior, very expensive. Australis, really affordable. All right, so next up we're gonna go in and do brows and then we're gonna do our eyes because I actually think I'm gonna be playing with some glitter today. So I don't wanna finish off the rest of my face. You guys, these two brow pencils, I literally cannot tell the difference between them. Like even packaging wise, they're pretty well 100% exactly the same. So I've got the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is actually the best selling brow product at Sephora. I discovered this recently because I did like a Sephora, like testing Sephora best sellers video. And I was like, oh, I would have thought like the powders, like something a little bit, I don't know, but best selling product at Sephora, quite expensive. This one by Maybelline, honestly, exactly the same. So this is the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim. I've got them both in, I've got dark brown and then I've got brown black, I think in this one. The thing that makes these pencils really special is they've got such tiny little tips and having such tiny precise little tips means that you can really get a super, super natural fluffy looking brow and like draw in individual brow strokes and it just, it makes things really, really easy. So yeah, we're gonna, oh, see, I nearly screwed it up already. This is the expensive side and the dupe side, Nakia. Keep it together. They both are really easy to use. Personally, for me, I tend to go for, and I mean, every single brow product that Maybelline has is like amazing. Like I've never been disappointed in their brow products, but I tend to go for more of like a powder or a pomade than a pencil. For me, I just find it a little bit quicker and easier, but everybody's got their preferences. So we're gonna fill our brows and then that tiny little pencil means you can do really precise like little hairs, draw little hairs in so that your brows look super natural. Really long lasting too. So I've tested both of these on my oily skin. I don't have any issues. I don't find that, you know, they fade during the day or anything like that. Um, they're both like, they're both really, really good. And in my opinion, exactly the same formula, exactly the same packaging, exactly the same size of the little pencil. Like you really can't go wrong with this. All right, so I'm just quickly priming my eyes. I don't really, I mean, I've got a dupe really, really close to my favorite eye primer, but not close enough to actually put it, you know, in a side-by-side -side dupe. Actually, leave a comment down below if you know what eye primer that I'm using right now. If you know me well enough, you'll know what this is. We're gonna move on to eyeshadows and I'm feeling some glitter today. It's actually my birthday week, so probably we'll try and wear glitter every single day this week. I feel like got a little heavy-handed on the side. Cute, love that for me. All right, for eyes on the high-end luxury side, I'm gonna be going in with the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. I've tried and I'm still trying to show you guys as many dupes as like absolutely possible for these palettes because they are so ridiculously expensive. Um, the first two that she launched, I really don't think that they're worth the money. And I mean, I don't even think that this should be priced as highly as it is. But it is, and it's the best selling palette at Sephora. So yeah, I'm gonna continue to try and show you guys as many dupes as possible. But it's a really, really pretty palette with like pinky nude colors. It's got glitter, it's got shimmers, it's got mattes. This one is a really nice palette. And the formula in this one, I find to be a lot better than the first two. So the dupe that I've got today is actually from Astralis as well. They've just launched this Mesmerize eyeshadow palette and there are a couple of shades in this that are different, but there are also a heap of shades in this that are exactly the same as the Huda Beauty New Nude. You've got your glitters, you've got your shimmers, you've got your mattes, you've got your taupes, you've got your pinks, your roses, pretty much all the same colors that you do get in the Huda Beauty palette but for a whole lot cheaper. Oh, and also guys, I did a little bit of research actually before I came back and started filming again. Australis does ship internationally to the US, to the UK and to Canada. So I wanted to check the website because I feel like I always film these videos and then all through the comments. And I'm like, oh my God, I should have spoken about that. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to make sure I mentioned that actually in the video so that if you're interested and you're overseas, you can get it. Now, glitter, 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 glitter. But what glitter will we use? The copper or the pink? I don't know. 
I do not know. So going in with the Huda Beauty first, taking this shade here called Bear. I'm just going to use that to sort of set down that eye primer. And that's also going to help encourage these shadows not to be patchy when blending. They can be a little patchy. Like way less than the original two palettes, but they definitely can be a little patchy. And then taking this shade here from the Astralis palette. And just doing the same on the other side, setting everything down. I think we should go in hard. I think we should go super glam. So I'm going to take Spanked, this shade here. And I'm going to blend that one through the crease. So we might do like a deeper, smokier look with this palette. I've done a few looks, you know, in some different videos using this palette and especially showing other dupes as well. But I feel like they've all been sort of like softer and lighter. I feel like we should commit today. Let's do this. And then from the Astralis palette, I'm going to take this shade here and maybe even a little bit of the one next to it. And I'm going to blend them on the other eye. I do quite like the formula of these shadows. They're really, really soft and buttery, but they still blend out beautifully as well. Sometimes shadows, you know, that are like really, really soft, like really, really buttery. Sometimes they just, I don't know, they don't transfer onto the lid that well, but these ones really do. And to be fair, I actually find them a lot easier to blend than the Huda shadows. So... You know, just depends. I mean, I know everybody, like everyone's got new nudes, everyone's got it. But like, even like just now, I very, very softly blended both sides out exactly the same. Look at the smoke out on this side and look at this side. Mm. All right, so next up I'm taking this purple color. What is it called? Love Bite. And I'm actually going to be packing that one through the crease, but really packing it onto the inner and outer corners of my eyes. It's a pretty color, this one, although it does translate quite differently on the lid to how it looks in the pan. In the pan, it throws a lot of purple, but then on the lid, it's more of like a burgundy. And then from the Astralis palette, I'm going to be taking a little of the purple and a little of this red, it's like a burgundy red kind of a shade. And I'm going to kind of mix them together to create exactly the same color. So starting in the outer corner again. This is that reddy shade, which actually is pretty damn close on its own. By adding a little of that purple, it makes it the same darkness. All right, moving on to the glitter. I think I want to use the copper glitter and the glitters in this Astralis palette are like literally insane. The formula is just like, pow. Probably one of the best drugstore glitter formulas I've come across, to be fair. They're just gorgeous. But I think I want to do like this full on copper. So we'll do the Australis side first. Now I've got glitter everywhere. So me. But I'm going to pack the Australis glitter. Like, look at that. You just can't deny that. Like, it's just full power, like in your face, bang. I really should have done my eyes before I did foundation, but we're here now. So then going in with the Huda Beauty palette, exactly the same matching glitter color. The other one's called Excite and it's just like I'm fairly digging into this. Oh, I've picked it up now, but it's just it's not it's not as pigmented. It's really not. Now you are going to get fallout with both of these palettes when applying. It's really unavoidable with glitter. Um, you know, the same things happened on both sides. They're usually pretty good once they're applied. Like I don't find that I get fallout during the day, but you'll just have to do a little bit of cleaning up you know, before you move on. Oh, I'm so glad we did copper glitter. That's so pretty. Lots of fallout, like I said. Um, what we're gonna do is do a wing, and this is sort of how I do more dramatic eyes like this. I'll do the wing, and then I'll clean up anything on the bottom side of the wing so it's like a really precise edge. Works really, really well. The two dupes for eyeliner that I have today is this one by Pat McGrath. Obviously, anything from Pat McGrath, so expensive. Like, this eyeliner is probably like $50, honestly. Crazy. I've got exactly the same one here that does exactly the same thing by Maybelline. This is the Maybelline Master Precise All Day. And if you have a look here, they've both got exactly the same felt tip, and they're both, you know, they, they do the same thing. So going in on this side with the Pat McGrath, I'm just going to draw a wing in and then the wing we'll put there. Yeah. Good plan, fam. Good plan. And then going in on the affordable dupe side with the Maybelline one. And then once I'm done with the wings, I'm just going to quickly clean up that glitter and then we will move on. All right. So I've cleaned up underneath the lower lash sign and I'm just smudging some lighter pinks through there now 
I mean, we're gonna put concealer on, so we can't really go too far. Let's move on to mascara. Oh, and also, that thing happened where your wings, they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, I wanted to go bold, so it works perfectly, but like, has that ever happened to you? <laughs> All right, so for mascaras here on the luxury high-end side, I have the Hourglass Caution Mascara. This is a really, really nice mascara. Doesn't transfer, doesn't smudge. It gives great length and volume. It helps, you know, lift and curl the lashes. I love this mascara, and I also really, really love the brush of this one. And this one here by Essence, the Lash Princess. Honestly, it's, it is exactly the same formula. It's exactly the same bristle brush, but this one is like... I don't know, I think it's like $5. It's really, really affordable. I'll show you both the brushes side by side so that you can see them. And the other thing worthy to mention too, this Essence one does come in different varieties. It does come like, I think like black and purple, black and pink. For me, it's the black and green one. Like I love the formula. So here are the two bristle brushes side by side. As you can see, they're exactly the same. They're really nice and tapered. They're great for smaller eye shapes. Both these formulas don't smudge. Like I just, I truly love both these mascaras. And so you might as well save a lot of money by getting the affordable dupe. So I'm gonna put a couple of coats of this mascara on and I've just realized you're not even gonna be able to see the mascara. I mean, I don't really have long enough lashes for you to be able to see it over the wing. But yeah, I'll put a couple of coats on and then we're going to pop some lashes on and move on to the skin. I actually think I prefer the Essence one. Isn't that funny? I mean, I did say earlier, like, honestly, drugstore mascaras are where it's at. They just work better. I don't know. And they always seem to transfer way less than the higher end ones. I just have way, way, way better luck with drugstore mascaras. All right, so we're moving back onto the skin. You guys have heard me talk about both these concealers plenty of times before. They are literally exactly the same thing. And to be fair, quite honestly, this one by L'Oreal, I usually end up like by the end of the day, and I did do a side-by-side -side wear test, I do usually end up preferring the way that this looks on the skin, despite the fact that it's like a third of the price of the Tarte. So we're talking about the Tarte Shape Tape. So we're talking about the Tarte Shape Tape on the luxury high-end side and the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer on the drugstore affordable dupe side. Seriously, even the packaging, they're exactly the same. So I'm gonna go in and apply Tarte first. I'm only gonna put um, concealer underneath my eyes. I feel like I'm happy with the coverage everywhere else now the only thing is these colors aren't like 100% exactly the same that's truly the only difference but formula wise wear time wise they're exactly the same they're both really really creamy really long wearing they don't smudge they don't crease they don't like disappear when my oils come through they are both really good concealers and like super 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 full coverage too which I love but full coverage without again feeling like heavy and cakey on the skin similar to you know both the foundations I like my foundation to be full coverage but I don't want to be able to feel it I'm, I'm high maintenance, what can I say? <laughs> I find that both of these concealers also just blend out so well. Um, you know, they don't remove the foundation underneath. They're just, they're easy products to use. And I honestly think they're both exactly the same. So if you want to save a bit of money, I would go with the L'Oreal. All right, for powder, I have two translucent setting powders that in my opinion, again, are exactly the same product. So the Urban Decay Velvetizer, it's a 100% translucent powder that gives like a really slippery, soft kind of feeling to the skin. It's a very, very well loved powder. And the e.l.f., what do they call this? I think this is just like their sheer translucent powder. Honestly, if you swapped these over, like the formula into each, like the different packaging, I would not be able to tell the difference. They're very, very soft, like kind of, I don't know, it's sort of hard to describe the formula of these. Like when you rub the formula of both of these, like between your fingers, they feel like slippery. They're quite different. And these ones are good too because they don't really show up on the skin. A lot of translucent powders that are quite light in color, um, they just, they look terrible on the skin. These ones don't. So softly blending that. Oh. My powder brush smells like vanilla, yes. And then this is the e.l.f. powder on this side. Honestly, once they're on the skin, you truly can't tell the difference between the two of them. Like they look like exactly the same powder. Save that money, girl, do it. Like honestly, if you don't have to spend heaps, like if this is the kind of powder that you love, you don't have to spend heaps to get this kind of a finish. All right, for bronzer, we're gonna go in with the Hula Bronzer. This is their new caramel shade. I love Hula Bronzer. It's a very, like it's a cult favorite. Everybody knows of Benefit Hula Bronzer. Everybody loves it. It blends well. It's really seamless to apply. It lasts all day on the skin without fading. It's just, it is a really, really lovely product. And bronzers, I mean, I feel like I've spoken about this heaps, but I'm really, really fussy with bronzers. I don't like bronzers that are really hard to work with. Like if it's a product that, 
I've got to keep blending and I've got to keep blending again and then it looks kind of patchy and it looks kind of muddy. Like I'm really finicky about bronzers. So this one, like, I mean, you guys already know how much I love this one. It applies beautifully to the skin. Like it's, it is a really, really good product. But this bronzer that I've got here from Morphe is honestly, it's just as good as the Benefit one. And you actually, I believe you get a lot more product in this one. Eight grams in the Benefit and 20 grams in the Morphe. Like hi. Yeah, and it's way more affordable, obviously. Comes in like a big pan with a mirror. That might not be for you, but honestly, formula-wise, these are just as good as each other, but you're going to be saving a lot more money with the Morphe one. So it's called their Glamour Bronze, and this is the shade Megastar. And this Megastar shade is very similar to the Hula Caramel. It's got more of like a warm undertone to it and like it just it blends out just as beautifully on the skin it's seamless it doesn't look powdery or cakey it doesn't emphasize texture it doesn't look muddy and it lasts all day like i've got no like nothing bad to say about this bronzer it's gorgeous and it's a lot cheaper than the benefit one so you've got options guys You've got options. All right, moving on to blush now. I've got the Too Faced Peach My Cheeks. You guys know how much I love this formula. It's a very interesting cream to powder kind of formula. What I love about it is it gives the cheeks the color and, you know, that flush look, but without adding any shimmeriness, without adding any texture, without looking powdery, without emphasizing pores. Like it's a, it's a really, really nice formula. Um, I just love the way that it melts onto the skin. And honestly, the blushes from ColourPop, you can get exactly the same results that you get from this one with these ones. ColourPop makes some really, oh, actually, sorry. I better give you guys the shades. Peach My Cheeks. So this shade is Pinch My Peach. Ooh. A bit naughty. Colourpop honestly makes amazing, amazing products. Like there's been, there, I mean, there's probably like a good handful of things that I've been unhappy with, but pretty much everything that I've tried, I've been like, oh, and it's so affordable. Like it's just crazy. So hopefully you'll be able to see, see how this blush is adding the colour to my cheeks, but it's not adding, like you can't really see it there otherwise. Like it's just like a very soft tint of color without adding texture or powderiness. Like I said, like it just looks beautiful on the skin. And then the ColourPop dupe that I have is this one here. So these are called their Super Shock Cheek uh, Blushes. Oh, couldn't get the lid off then. And the shade that I've got here is Drop of a Hat. Got like a tiny little bit of shimmer in the pan, but then they translate pretty much exactly the same on the cheeks. Really, really pretty. So just working that into the skin. They just look so nice and natural, honestly. Like I hate blushes that add texture. There's nothing worse. Or just like that, you know, that powdery finish. I hate it. All right, for highlighter on the high-end side, I've got one of the... Probably most coveted highlighters ever, MAC Whisper of Guilt. It's pretty much sold out in stores and online 99% of the time. It's so hard to get hold of. It's been like this for years. Like for as long as I can remember, this highlight has been nearly impossible to get hold of. It's really, really pretty. It's like this beautiful gold. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. It's very, very similar to the Amrezi highlighter. So if you loved that one, you would love Whisper of Guilt. Like there's a, there's a good reason why it's always sold out. But this little highlighter from Fergal Lua, this is the Diamond Glow Highlighter in the shade Gilded Goddess. It's literally exactly the same thing. And it's like just as pigmented, just as creamy, just as smooth. It's a beautiful, rich gold. Like it's honestly just so nice. And I mean, Mac's expensive. So if you don't have to spend the money, don't. And I mean, you're probably nearly impossible to get this original one. Oh, but it is so pretty. Look at it. It is beautiful. Like I know why it's always sold out. Like, oh, it's so nice. But as you're about to see, this Focal Lua one, literally the same. Oh, I actually think the Focal Lua one's like more pigmented too. Like I feel like my skin looks wetter on this side. Stunning, both of them though, just stunning. And then finally for lips, I have two lipsticks here. Now these are not exactly like 100% the same color, but I find that the formulas like are very, very much the same. They last just as long and they look just as beautiful on the lips. And also the packaging looks very similar. So what I'm talking about here is the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks and the ColourPop lipsticks. So in Charlotte Tilbury, I have got Pillow Talk which is a really beautiful nude. It's like a satin matte formula. It just looks absolutely gorgeous on the lips, really long lasting. And then this ColourPop one here, this is Spring Roll Cream Formula, but like just as pigmented, just as buttery, 
such 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 nice lipsticks both of these but the ColourPop ones I think like five dollars six seven dollars maybe Charlotte Tilbury I believe is around the forty dollar mark so shall we do them like one side and the other side I know done this I've been obsessed with this lipstick since I discovered it like I really really have but like honestly if you can get it at a lower price I'm obviously going to recommend doing so and now going in with the ColourPop one Yeah, they're really, they're not exactly the same color. They're similar, but they're not exactly the same. But honestly, formula wise, they feel exactly the same. I feel like the ColourPop one's a little bit stronger in color and a little bit more coral, whereas the Charlotte Tilbury one's like a little bit more of like a soft, dusty nude. But there you go, guys. This is the finished look, my full face of dupes. And I want to know, can you tell the difference between both sides of my face? Apart from the very, very slight like very, very slight difference in the lipstick color. I honestly can't tell the difference between both sides. So luxury high end side, so what it looks like, and then affordable dupe side. I will add it up and I'll pop the totals in the description bar, but like I'm feeling like you'll probably save, we're looking at about $300, $400 saved on this side. Like, and it looks exactly the same. Like from my, from where I'm sitting, from where I can see everything, it looks exactly the same. Why Why spend all that money if you do not have to? But I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. I do have lots of other dupes videos here on my channel. I will link them on the screen here or here. I can't remember what side the car pops up on. It's funny because I've been doing this for so long. Still can't remember what side it is. But if you are interested in seeing any of my other dupes videos, you can find them there. You can also find them linked in the description bar. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure to hit subscribe and come and say hi in the comments. I'll be hanging out down there. Let me know some of your favorite dupes that you think that I should try. I would love to test them out. I've got a list. It could be longer. It could be longer. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.